hello friends Wel welcome to Roy tech blog today we will see display row and column headers on each page for row groups here is the small changes that is row groups in SSRS reports so let's start I have already created one SSRS report and in this report you will see already there is a row group product name so if you run this and click on this and go to the next page you can see the column and row headers are not populating or displaying here so to do that we need to make some small changes here so first first we will see what we are doing generally in the SSRS reports to display the row header and column headers go to the column groups and advanced mode and click on the static go to the properties repeat on new page true and here repeat on new page true now save it if you now run this report you can see still the row header and column header are not populating here so we need to make some another properties that is keep with group since it is a group is associated make it after the static keep with group make it after and also the tablix properties right click on the uh, here you right click here tablix properties and row headers repeat header rows on each page make it check and column headers make it check click ok save it now run the report now if you we'll go to the next page now you can see the column and row headers are populating correctly and uh, on each page also you can see it is populating on each page this is the way you can display the row headers and column headers thank you for watching